Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to massage your hand. And if you've been doing mousing like I have been lately, then it's very likely that <clears throat> you may have a sore hand kind of like right in here. Because we'll use our index fingers to go click, 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 click over and over again. And for me, it's sore in between these two bones, the, the index finger and the middle finger. And so, if I take my thumb and massage it deeply right in there, like there, right there, I can feel that's where it's sore and that's where it needs to be deeply massaged. And also bear in mind it's probably good to, to take a break at least with the right hand and switch to the left hand. And that's not easy for everyone and it takes a bit of practice. But it's required to do one of the two. Either take a break or switch hands. Stretch it, flex and extend, okay, and you may work on the opposite side a little bit too, yeah, work on the opposite side, and pinch in there, and probably work on those finger muscles too. And see, it's not just the muscle in between the joints. It's in the joint itself, sometimes. Ligaments. Okay, so, like, and if you get your, your finger crunched like that, like, pounded like that on the end, then the ligament in between the bones can get injured. And it's really good to do separation massage movements like this, where you're, you're creating pressure directly on the joint to separate it. That helps it to, to heal. And you'll know if you're doing it right, because it'll like hurt so good. It hurts, but it's good. Okay. Now, at, when, when you make a motion like this, and you, and you feel a place, like right there for me, okay? Right there, I can feel that muscle needs to be compressed. A massage right in there. Right there. And I was able to assess that by creating some movement. Okay, right there. Oh, oh. It's good to massage it for a while up until a, till a certain point. If you over massage it, then you may create inflammation. And never be afraid to use ice for inflammation. Oftentimes, the thumb muscles get really tight. And what I'll do is I'll take my fingers and compress it and hold it right in the belly of it where it hurts the most, right? Oh, yeah. And I'll pop it right cross friction-wise friction where it hurts the most, like right in there. And you can see that I'm getting really deep.
That's like a three quarters of an inch deep into the tissue. In between these digits, as they're called, fingers and thumb, it's really good to massage in there because there's a there's an acupressure point right here, the large intestine four. Li4, and let's see, what does that one do? My memory forgets me at this time, but it's a very, it's one of the 12 most important acupressure points. And it's at the top in between the bones where they connect in here. But, you know, just from movement in here can get a lot of tension. So, regardless of the energetic aspects, the muscular aspects can get a lot of tension. So, search around, dig, feel in your hand all over for where there's pain or tension and then work it out it's good to take all your fingers like this and put them in between bones you can do that with your ribs too and then maybe work on your forearm muscles because they're certainly going to be tight from doing all that mousing <laughs> mousing <laughs> if you said something like mousing to somebody 30 years ago they'd probably not know what the hell you were talking about it's good to put a little oil on there <clears throat> Okay, so thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video and learn something.